Hey friends, it's the beginning of October, which means it's September favorites time. Now in September, I started my new job, which is in an office. I'm a graduate assistant. And even though, you know, I work in an office and do office work, I am still kind of a student worker. I don't really see a lot of people or deal with a lot of people where I have to look super nice. This is what I wore um, to work today. It's just kind of like a nice-ish top and I wore my skinny jeans with it. Especially when I first started, I was trying to do a lot of really neutral makeup. So some of my things this month are a little bit more office appropriate. Some of them are definitely not. But that's kind of the inspiration for a lot of things this month. A few of my monthly favorites in the past have been things I repurchased and therefore had a newfound love for these products. This is another one of those. It's the um, Select Sheer Pressed Powder by MAC. My color is NW15. It's kind of a mess. And again, I did just get this in September already hit pan. I use this every day. Whenever I leave the apartment, I run it over my face again to kind of mattify my face. It does last a long time, even in the heat and humidity. It's a great pressed powder. I really like for my skin to look matte because I feel more put together when I look matte. I know some people like the dewy finish, some people like a natural finish. I just prefer a matte one and that's the best mattifying powder that I've found. My next favorite is a blush that I've had for a while and loved for just as long, and it's kind of a darker color, and I don't really consider that much of a summery color. I like to wear it more in the fall and winter. And it's by NARS, you could probably guess, it's their famous orgasm blush, and it's a little, both of these are a little kind of worse for wear because they are well loved. Kind of hard to see the color of this, but it's a peachy pink and it does look dark on here, but it blends out really sheer and it's really wearable for me. So if you're darker, then it's definitely wearable for you. It's just a really flattering color. It just kind of gives you that like lit from within look. It's just really nice. This is something that I got this month and I just love. I've seen a lot of people talk about it on YouTube, and that's why I wanted to check it out. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Lilac. It is a light purple color. I know a lot of people have been rocking some kind of purple lips. I know I've talked about how I love purple for the fall. Everyone loves purple for the fall. It's been super popular. I don't feel like I can rock a lot of the darker purple lip colors, so this is my way of kind of trying that out. It was a drugstore product, so I wasn't shelling out a whole lot of money if it didn't work for me. But I do like this lip gloss. It's not real sticky. It stays on for a long time. I wear it with the Revlon Color Burst lipstick in Soft Nude. I put that over my lips to kind of lighten them out and kind of cancel out the pink color a little bit. And then I put this over it and it just gives a little bit of a lilac sheen where it doesn't look like whoa purple lips. It's just a really wearable, nice purple. So if you haven't checked this out, definitely recommend it, especially if you're somebody who's more fair skinned looking to try out the purple lip trend. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and warn you right now. The next four things are eyeshadow trios quads palettes four things okay really been rocking some different looks this month than i had this summer one thing that i've been wearing for work for kind of when i was trying to do more neutral more office appropriate eyes was the tokidoki chromatico palette in bastardino i did a review on this palette so if you want to hear my thoughts more in depth then watch that. Specifically, I've been wearing those top two colors. Once you blend this out and kind of get rid of some of the shimmer, it's a really good look for work, really neutral look. Okay, next is an eyeshadow trio, and it's the Stila It Girl palette. And it's super messy, so I'm just warning you, there's kind of eyeshadow everywhere. I tried to brush it off, but it didn't really work. Well, the colors are Kitten, Chloe, and LeMay. And I've really been loving Kitten, which is a kind of pinky nude color, which kind of blends out to be like my skin tone. I thought it'd be too pink, but on me, it works really well. And then Chloe in the middle there is kind of like a greenish brown, and that makes a great, really subtle daytime look. I have used the gold color, the LeMay, but only for certain occasions, not for like an everyday look. Next is a little eyeshadow trio that I picked up at Sally's Beauty Supply. And it's this little guy um, from Palladio. It's one of their baked eyeshadow trios in Meadow. It's got like a super light green, a medium shimmery green, and a dark forest green. Now the reason I bought this was because it reminded me a lot of another eyeshadow trio with three different shades of green. Um, from MAC, from In the Groove. Yeah, 
Kong Kwon collected, the one that I bought and fell in love with, and then it broke. So now I have this, and I love it so much. It's been a great replacement. I was finally able to throw away my horribly broken um, MAC eyeshadow trio. The next eyeshadow palette is one I'm wearing today with the super bright green and all that. And it's the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips, the Pop Eyes collection that a lot of people here on YouTube have talked about. And mine is in Pop Green Eyes because I have green eyes and I love to wear green eyeshadow and purple eyeshadow. These are the eyeshadows. They're kind of supposed to be in like three different looks where you're supposed to wear like the bottom three together, then the middle three, then the top three. But of course you don't have to do that. I am wearing these bottom three on my eyes today. Um, the light color is in the inner corner and then the bright green is in the middle and the purple is kind of on the edge which is not coming up on camera at all. Great eyeshadows, super pigmented. They don't they don't wear as long as my MAC eyeshadows, but they will get you through your day and be just fine. Okay, now I'd like to talk about the nail polish stars of the month, ones that I've worn and really loved. I've worn several, but these have been the faves. This one I've worn a couple times, gotten lots of comments on. It's this pretty purple. It's by Sephora by LPI, and it's called Domestic Goddess. It's like an eggplant purple kind of color, but it's a great like kind of fall tone purple. It's dark, but not too dark. It's just really nice. This is a really cool color by China Glaze. It's called Exceptionally Gifted. It's a really pearly light pink. And I really wanted to include this this month because of course I wore it in September and loved it, but also because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I know a lot of people are, you know, rocking the pink this month. This is kind of that color pink that you associate with like the breast cancer ribbons and things like that. This is definitely a color I want to make you aware of because it did make me think of that breast cancer ribbon color pink. My last item I'd like to talk about is something that I mentioned in another video and something I know you've seen in this video and it's my love ring. I know I said this in another video but I'll kind of repeat it. There are some bigger beauty gurus who wear a love ring kind of like this and that I always thought was super pretty um like I've seen Lollipop 26 wear it. I always thought that ring was pretty but it costs about $620 last time I checked on the website. Now somebody I'm subscribed to her name is Bombaholic TV I'll put a link below. She mentioned this ring in a video she got it from Kohl's and she said she bought it because she had loved the ring that those other girls wear and couldn't afford it which is kind of you know the same situation I was in. And I commented on her video and said, oh my gosh, can I have the link? So she posted the link in the video information after that. And I checked it out on the Kohl's website. And it was about $11, I believe, $10 or $11. So I ordered it right away. I just think it's really pretty. It's kind of unique. I don't know anyone in real life who has a ring like this. So these are my September 2010 faves. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Bye.